hand-sized specimen from the uh, uh, Tanke from Gurumu mine in the Katanga. Now let's first of all start in the base. So if we have it going around like this, base is predominantly um, uh, 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 dolomite. And then uh, dusting this base from the top, we have, uh, first of all, the, the cobalton calcite, very, very thin layer of tiny cobalton calcite crystals, electric pink, with a tiny dusting in some cases of uh, chrysocholla, which uh, takes on a botryoidal form. Sitting on top of the chrysocholas would be some uh, uh, heterogenite, which would be a, a waxy black waxy black botwoods and sitting on that uh, on top of that in some cases giving it a lot of lovely bling bling would be tiny druzy quartz crystals now other associations are found on this material too would be some vesigirat crystals i don't see any in this case which are bladed looks very similar to primary malachite it's just thin blades also there's a trace of some colwezite up there so, which is another rare mineral from the um, Katanga, copper mines of the Congo. And note that, that we're looking at a, a mining region of about 350 kilometers. Uh, and basically the mining is taking place off the Sam Reef. So you will have similarities between the different deposits. Quite lovely. Let's see how close we can get. But really, really lovely, bright, vibrant, lustrous piece. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga, another masterpiece from this fantabulous locality.